I would like to do is a very basic rudimentary uh, natural frequency calculation in, in Katia. Uh, we have a bar like that. One end of it is fixed and the other end is free. Now what we like to do is what are the natural frequencies of this bar? There's infinite number of them, okay? But we're interested in uh, the default calculation in Katia is uh, finding the first 10 natural frequencies. You can change that. The reason that you may be interested in natural frequencies is because you want to avoid resonance. For example, if this structure is subjected to the uh, periodic load, uh, with the period being uh, the same, uh, the same, uh, uh, r leading to the same frequency as one of the uh, resonant frequencies, then the structure will, uh, or natural, one of the natural frequencies, the structure will. will will be widely oscillating and that is what is called resonance so uh, the, the, the part is already made okay so uh, oh uh, as, as, as I mentioned earlier in, in in the buckling buckling analysis of the same problem same geometry that one should be very careful in using symmetry when it comes to both uh, natural frequency calculation and uh, buckling calculations okay so don't do it in other words uh, just use the whole model uh, the material has been apply to this steel so we're going to switch to uh, uh, or we, we're going to switch to generative structure analysis now here notice that we can do static analysis but that's not what we want to do I want to do a frequency frequency analysis uh, not this one frequency analysis okay good so uh, the only condition that we have the only restraint that we have is uh, uh, this end is uh, fixed, so, so uh, where is the clamp? I'm going to clamp that end. Okay, and that's it. Because in when it comes to finding natural frequencies, remember it says natural frequencies. That means the oscillation of a of a bar without applying any any load. Okay, uh, free vibration. So uh, uh, that's all you need to do. Okay, so just run it and. Uh, And we are done. Okay, so let's look at the different uh, frequencies that are calculated. Uh, again, as in the buckling problem, both the stress and displacements are totally useless. Okay, so the only thing is important is those magic frequencies. So we click on the deformation. This is the first natural frequency. If you double click on this, you get and select the occurrence tab. These are all the frequencies that are calculated, 10 frequencies that are calculated. You can ask for more. Now notice that the first two are the same because there is no distinction between vibrating like that and vibrating like this. Same frequency, different planes. Same, these are all doubled because the, the, it doesn't matter the two, two modes which are identically uh, same. So this one, second mode, second mode in the other plane. Third mode, third mode in the other plane. Etc. So beyond a certain point, of course, uh, these these frequencies become uh, so large that are totally erroneous and uh, meaningless. So, uh, uh, you, you, for example, you can you can look at vibration of this. It looks like that. That particular mode vibrates in this manner. Okay. At that frequency, which is by the way, unit of atmospheres. So uh, that's that's pretty much it. I don't want to dwell too much on uh, too much about uh, natural frequency calculation because that's important in dynamic analysis, and I don't know whether we're going to get to do that, any dynamics uh, in the course later on. It could be the last week we come back to this and uh, do some more problems. Okay, take care.